Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my first update for my Pan Net Palette 2020. This year, if you didn't already see my introduction video, I am attempting to pan the Lorac Pro, the original palette. But I will link my introduction video down below if you did miss that one. I'm doing updates every two months, which is why you didn't see an update at the end of January. Just because I tend to use makeup pretty slowly, I generally only wear makeup in the weekends, so once or twice a week. So rather than show you an update every single month when there probably wouldn't be visible progress, I decided to just do it every second month so that hopefully there's a bit of progress for you guys to see. If you are new here, then welcome. If you do enjoy my content, I would love it if you subscribe. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you now what my palette looked like in the introduction video. And just to give you a nice quick overview, that is what it is looking like now. So as you can see, I don't have any new pans, but there is still a little bit of progress. So let's go ahead and talk about this now. So from the start, the shade white I didn't use at all. I'm saving that as my um, my base color, like to set my eyeshadow primer, but I'll use it in winter, so it's still summer at the moment. Cream, though, is what I have been using for that purpose for the last two months, so I do have quite a bit of a dip in cream. I don't think I'm that close to hitting pan, but I definitely can see the dip. And then taupe, I always use as my transition shade. There just isn't a lot of visible progress. There's no dip to speak of, really, but I just go through transition shades so slowly. And then light pink and mauve, I haven't been using. I've just been doing the one same eyeshadow look every time I've done my makeup for the last two months. Sable, I use to deepen the crease a little bit, but again, I use such a tiny amount. There's no dip, you can't really tell that it's been used much. Espresso is one that I already had a dip in, and I use that shade to do my brows. I don't think I've expanded the pan that much. I was looking at the picture from last time, and it looks like the same shape and the same size, but I have been using that shade more than any other because I use it even during the week to fill in my brows, even if I'm not wearing any other makeup. So I'm a little annoyed that there's not more progress, but it is what it is because I know that I'm going to consistently use that shade through the whole year regardless of what makeup look I'm using because it's so easy to just use it to fill in my brows. So I know it's going to keep getting consistent use, so I'm not too worried about it. Black I have not touched. Nude I haven't touched, but then Champagne I've used as my highlighter. So I've used it on my inner corner, brow bone, and also as my face highlighter every time I've done my makeup for the last two months. Champagne does actually have a bit of a dip coming on as well, which I'm very pleased about. Gold I have not used, and then Light Bronze I think is where I've gotten the most progress because this was a tiny, tiny pan, like a really baby pan in my introduction video, and now there is significant pan in the middle there, which I'm very pleased with. That's the shade I've been using all over my lid every time I've done my makeup, so I'm very pleased with how that pan is coming along. And then the rest of the shades I haven't used at all, so we won't talk about them in detail right now. So one of my goals that I wanted to achieve by this update video was to expand both of the pans that I already had, I feel like I've done a really good job at expanding light bronze, but like I said, I haven't expanded espresso as much as I had hoped that I would. Another one of my goals was to have a bit of a dip in cream and champagne. I can't remember if I wanted a dip in champagne, but I definitely have a good dip in cream. I remember saying that I didn't think I would hit pan, but I felt like there would be a dip, and I was right. And then I just wanted to consistently use all of those shades that I use in that particular eye look, and that's the exact same eye look that I've done every time I do my makeup. So I have done that. I was on vacation for three weeks in January, and I didn't take any of my makeup with me. So this palette went three weeks without getting any use at all. So I feel like this update will probably have the least amount of progress compared to my future updates just because I missed out on that three weeks of using it. So let's set some new goals for the next update. We can set slightly steeper goals this time because I will be here using it consistently for the next two months. I want to hit pan on cream. I think that if I use it consistently for two months, I can hit pan on cream. So let's make that a goal. In terms of the eye look that I want to be doing, I've already hit 
pretty significant pan on light bronze so I want to start using a different lid shade. We're heading into autumn now in New Zealand and that is a great time to be using beautiful warm shades so I think I will continue using taupe and sable because those are my beautiful warm transition shades. For my lid shades I don't want to restrict myself to just one but I think I'll try and get a bit of use out of gold because I think that's a beautiful shade for autumn and I think I'll use a bit of garnet as well. I think gold will be my main lid shade but I think I can throw a bit of garnet in there as well. I definitely won't hit pan on either of those two because there's no dip at all in either of them. But I reckon I could get a bit of a dip going in gold. If I make gold my main focus, I think I can make a bit of progress on that. I definitely want more of a pan in espresso. I use it every day. I don't know that I'll be able to take it all the way down to the bottom because it doesn't seem to be going that quickly for me. But... I think I'll just make sure I am using it every day and just getting as much progress out of it as I can. I'll keep using champagne as my highlighter. I'm not sure if I'll be able to hit pan, but I reckon I can be pretty close. I reckon I could have a very deep dip by the next update. So I want to hit a pan on cream, expand a pan on espresso, uh, create a bit of a dip in gold and deepen a dip in champagne. I think that is enough. For the next two months those are my goals hopefully that's not too much of a reach I feel like those are all achievable goals anyway that is gonna wrap up today's video thank you so much for watching I hope you are enjoying my little pan that palette series I have done one of these in the past I think it was 2018 so I'll link that playlist down below if you're interested in seeing how I did last time spoiler I didn't do very well I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you again next time bye